This right here is my very first photo book. It's 64 pages, contain 72 of my favorite images that I have ever taken. I printed 70 copies of it, and I'm not selling a single one of them. Here's why. If you're new to my channel, I published a documentary in April of 2023 about the craziest family trip that I have ever been on. In short, I flew to Italy with 98 of my family members. You can check out the full film in the description below. Since before that trip even took place, my dad and I knew that we had to make a photo book to commemorate the trip with, and to surprise my family with. We figured that Christmas would be the perfect opportunity to see everyone, so we got to work. We curated the images in October, designed the book in November, and sent it to print before Thanksgiving for 70 total copies. A few weeks later, Laura and I flew to the East Coast to review the books in person with my dad. It was totally surreal to finally see the books in person, and it only heightened my excitement and my immediate family's excitement to finally share them with the rest of our family. The quality was fantastic, all of the colors were printed beautifully, and it really actually surprised me just how much more detail I noticed in my own images looking at them printed on paper versus on a screen. <laughs> With the books reviewed and our stamp of approval in place, we packed up the car to bring everything down to our family's annual Christmas party. We had a fantastic evening catching up all together for the first time in person since the Italy trip. My Uncle Paul showed up as Santa Claus as usual, met some of the new kiddos in the family, and then it was time to reveal the book. Okay, so it is the day after the annual Christmas party with the whole family. We finally got to hand out all of the books to all of the families that were there. And even though I'm pretty wiped from it still, I just wanted to share some of the initial thoughts and feelings from actually giving the book out. I think for the most part, we got to hand out all of the books to all the families that were there. Not everyone was able to make it this year, but uh, if you know a family wasn't there, we just kind of left it with the next best person to hand it off to them. Um, but it was so special to be able to like finally like hand this to people and to see their reactions to it as they were picking through it. Um, we really tried to do our best in selecting images that brought back really special memories from the trip, some funny memories from the trip, include a lot of family photos in the book, and also just kind of choose images that would show the scale of the trip as well. Um, you know, photos of the whole family going through the airport together, or going to a gelateria together, or going to the Coliseum, visiting there all together. Um, images that really gave each of us a, a pretty visceral memory of what it was like to do all these things with, you know, nearly a hundred people uh, everywhere we went. So it's just wild that like we, we talked about this like so much back in March of 2023. And it, it, to, to think about the idea that it was then to an actual printed book now that all the family has is so special. Um, and because it was such an incredible trip, like we just, we knew from the beginning, my dad and I were scheming this entire time. We we're like, we have to print something that each of the families can keep in their home to, to bring back all these memories. Cause it's easy for something like this to feel huge and incredible and larger than life in the moment. But like with all things, if, if you don't do the work to preserve it and to remember it, it can it can fall to the wayside pretty quickly, and you know just having 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 this is totally different than looking at a photo like this on your phone, right? Like when there's this much detail and this many people and this many faces, um, it it you really do notice things differently when images are are printed versus on a screen, and there's a time and place for both, but I think the time and place for uh, you know, large family archival photos like this is in print and probably want to print one even larger than this at some point. But um, you really just start to notice the, the, the little details that um, can sometimes get lost on a screen or just the size of a cell phone screen. Being able to like hold the photos and look at them 
you're less distracted and I feel like you just notice not only what's in the image more, but you notice the way that you feel while looking at the image more. Like there's less of a distraction because there's other notifications coming through on your phone or your iPad or, or whatever it is. Like you are, you're just having like a moment with the image that you're looking at. And I think you, at least I feel this way. I feel like I'm more in tune with the emotions that I'm experiencing as I'm looking at these things because that's all I'm doing. I'm really just focused on this. And that in and of itself just, I think, elevates the, ah oh man, the kind of like hindsight experience of this. And it makes reliving this whole trip that much better. I'm really grateful for my dad in particular on this project because he's the one that really championed the idea of doing this. Like, yeah, I, I took the photos while we were in Italy that made it into the book, but he was the one that funded it, that made it possible, that found the printer, that um, used his employees to help design the book and give us rough drafts that we could critique instead of having to build that ourselves from the ground up. Um, you know, it wouldn't have been possible without without him. And it was so fun to, to have a project for the two of us to work on together, especially. Um, and he and I both love surprises. So for all intents and purposes, this was a really, really special, really, really emotional project to be a part of. Um, and I'm just really happy that we stuck it out and we did it. And now everyone has a copy of their, their Blum Italia 2023 books. So, oh man, yeah. So even though this photo book was never intended to be a traditional photo book that I created and published for the purpose of selling to an audience, I couldn't imagine a better first experience of putting a photo book together. Making something like this for my family is maybe the most special project that I've ever worked on, honestly. And it just means so much to know that every family within the family has a copy of this now to commemorate that incredible trip that we went on. Now, if there's anything that you should take away from this video for yourself, it's that you should print your work. Just do it. Just print whatever you have. It could be a wallet size photo. It could be a couple five by sevens, eight by tens, a hardback book, a canvas print, whatever you want. Sharing memories in this tangible way is so special. And if it's for you or your friends or your family, whoever the audience is, just know that they will appreciate it and that it will change not only your perception of those images, but theirs as well. I wanna give my dad another shout out as well because this literally would not have been possible without him and it's his generosity and determination that really put this thing together. And I'm so grateful for him and for being able to work on something like this together. If you've made it this far in the video and you haven't even seen the documentary that I've talked about yet, please go check it out in the link in the description below. It is my favorite video that I have made ever by a mile, and I'd really appreciate you going to check it out. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for future videos, and I will see you in the next video.